Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to take a quick uh, look at the Milwaukee M18. Let's see, this is the 2922-22 Force Logic Press Tool Kit. Now this particular kit is for copper. Now you can purchase die heads for PEX. Uh, die heads also are available for stainless and uh, iron. Now today we're gonna focus strictly on the copper. That's what uh, my business is primarily surrounded by. And uh, I will tell you, I've been working with this kit for the last three weeks straight and I can't emphasize enough how important I believe it is for uh, anybody's business, especially in commercial applications where pot permits, for example, have to be pulled when you're doing copper. Uh, you know, in this particular case, you can work any time of the day around other crews, no hot permits required, just get in there, get your job done. And if the line is wet, uh, these particular fittings uh, this kit is designed around can crimp while they're wet and seal that off just like that. And so I'm gonna demonstrate that for you here in just a minute. The one thing I wanted to uh, share was this particular kit starts at a half inch, runs all the way up to two inches. Now for me, that's 90% that's of my business. Now you can run on up to four inch, uh, but in this particular case, I don't need that. You can purchase individual dies. Uh, you can purchase die kits from Milwaukee. Again, you can also do it for other applications such as PEX, which is probably something I will uh, invest in. Now, the initial cost for this is up there, but if you really take in mind what your time is worth, what your t uh, crew's time is worth, and the permitting process, et cetera, the, and the fact that you know you can you can close this line these lines off while they're wet, uh, no solder, no propane, no you know none of that painful time that it's that it takes for that. Man, this thing is just rocking and rolling. And with a two amp hour battery, which this kit is in, includes actually two two amp hour batteries, it, uh, I mean, it, it's gonna power you all day long. It does come with a dual voltage uh, charger for your, if you're invested in the uh, 12 volt platform with Milwaukee, you can charge those as well as your M18s. Um, so this kit, again, includes the case, the, uh, press tool. It includes the six uh, heads, two batteries, two amp hour, and of course the charger. Um, there is here for any manuals, literature you want to keep in here. Uh, maybe there is a, you know, a permit or two. Uh, you can keep them in here. It's a nice little slot. If there's one manual you don't want to throw away, don't throw this manual away, guys. This is a, uh, you need to keep this uh, it's a good reference. Uh, anyway, uh, nice kit, very nice kit. Uh, the tool, the quick change between heads. You know, we do a lot of half, three quarter, and one inch. Um, so, changing that tool, very simple. <clears throat> Remove the battery. You're gonna pull this pin up. You're gonna install your head. Just like slow, push the pin in, you're ready to go. Grab the jaws like so, put it around your fitting, and uh, you push the button. It cycles, gives you a green light, letting you know that is a good crimp. And uh, main thing is here, you just wanna make sure you line up your die head the, uh, with the uh, fitting. So I'll demonstrate that here in just a minute, and uh, we'll go from there. And let me, let me say this, if I haven't mentioned, this does have 7,000 pounds of crimping force. I mean, it, it, it will definitely crimp those joints solid. So uh, this also has the one key feature. 
so you can track the tool. You know, if you've got uh, a couple of these out on different trucks, on different jobs, it's easy to track them. You know, you have a, one of your, your lead man or woman, so to speak, on the job. Uh, make sure they have the OneKey app downloaded to their phones and uh, makes it super easy to track where this tool is at all times. So uh, as long as you have the one key app or have it up on your computer, you have uh, your lead uh, technician on the job, as long as they have that app downloaded and uh, you know, there, there you go, you, you know where that tool's at at all times. And that's important to me because, uh, you know, it's a it's an it's an investment and i need to know where that investment all right i've set up a little demonstration here it's going to somewhat uh, demonstrate uh and and forgive me for uh for this but it's going to somewhat demonstrate some copper lines in the wall okay and i i wanted to make sure we had a couple of 90s and t's in there so uh that give us an idea of you know how uh, versatile or, or let's say, you know, flexible. I will tell you that getting this tool into tight spots is, has not been a huge issue at all. Uh, just about anywhere I can put my forearm, I can make a crimp with this. So here, we'll I'll make a couple of crimps and I'll zoom in on a couple of them here in a minute. But I've gone ahead and I've marked and deburred. And uh, not that that's important for this demonstration, but I did anyway. So um, we'll just make sure our tool is lined up. Fairly simple. And pull the trigger after you put a battery in it. Still new to me. So just line her up, let her go. The cycle time on it. It's about four seconds. It's pretty quick. So. last one. Now this being one key, you can see that there, that blue light, is recording all that information in here. And, uh, and by the way, it does have an 
two LED lights here. And believe it or not, those do really come in handy. And you guys know when you're working in new construction, believe it or not, those really are handy. Um, it's recording all this information, every one of those crimps, and make it, that way you can turn in a report if your uh, particular assignment requires you to, uh, allowing the customer to see or the inspector uh, that all those crimps were done successfully. Um, now, uh, this the duty cycle is 50,000 uh, crimps before you'll need to take it to your nearest uh, service center to have them uh, do whatever it is that they do, recertify it, whatever. So anyway, I hope this helped a few of you guys out. Uh, I'm gonna get a couple close-ups here, so hang on to the end of the video and appreciate you watching.